Welcome back to the channel. Today is day number four on our daily photography adventures and today we are in the Norde Zeile Cemetery in central Altona, Hamburg, Germany and this is an ancient Prussian cemetery. I'm going to take you on a tour of it here in the winter and we're going to try and get one photo and it all starts right now. Let's go. <laughs> The cemetery here was originally built in 1831, so we're going back into the history of our area here in Hamburg like two videos ago with our neighbors have a Nazi past. Well, this takes it back again to Prussian times before Germany was a country. So in 1831, this was part of Prussia and it became a cemetery and it was used as a cemetery until 1979. So that's over what, 150 years? But the last graves were dug here in 1897. So nobody's been buried here since uh, 1897 and it was destroyed in World War II from the bombings of the Allied forces. So this whole cemetery was basically flattened during the war and then post World War II, the people who were living here used this cemetery to plant potatoes and vegetables. How crazy is that? They used it as an open air garden and it more or less stayed that way up until 1979 when the city of Hamburg finally declared this space as a garden and like a recreational open space for people to come and enjoy. So that is the story of our Prussian cemetery so let's go get a photo because I've got a crazy idea to try and recreate the ghosts of times gone by. set up the camera here and we've got a uh, well-balanced composition but not the most photogenic location here in the winter but that's okay because it's about the challenge of trying to capture one image per day and this one the idea is to uh, put a neutral density filter on the front so I've got the H and Y filter that I've had now for about a week and I want to dampen the scene so that I can shoot f11 for half of a second 0.5 of a second and try and get a bit of motion blur of some of these random people walking past and then the whole idea with that is that I blend in a couple of these people that are walking past the frame into one still image and hopefully I can kind of reproduce that idea of ghosts in the frame in the cemetery. So that's my whole idea with this image that you're about to see. We jumped inside for a minute because I want to show you how I quickly blend these two photos together to get our final result and it's really simple. I'm going to take you through the process in Lightroom and then in Photoshop. So let's jump into the computer and I'll show you right now. All right so here we are in Lightroom. I've got the two photos that I want to blend. So what I'll do is just select them both and then right click, edit in, and open as layers in Photoshop. Okay, so here you can see I've got my two layers and I actually wanna bring the guy on the skis above the, uh, the guy with the red jacket. So these are the two that I wanna blend. Now you can see that they're not the same color tone and they're also not the exact same composition. So what I wanna do first is just auto align the layers. So I'll select both layers, go to edit, and then auto align layers and uh, just keep that all the same. If your vignette removal is not selected, you can just select that. You can try the geometric distortion as well. It doesn't hurt to uh, just see what it looks like. But for me, I know I'm gonna have to crop this again uh, to get rid of the sort of the extra lines, but Photoshop does a really good job of blending the images together. So I've got that now, which is great. So this is really, really simple way to blend in half of a photo using the gradient tool. Because I only wanna bring in the guy with the red backpack, I'm gonna to go to my first image here and just select a new layer. And then with that new layer selected, I want to come over to my gradient. Also wanna make sure that I have black and white here. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way, but it uh, depends on how you're masking. I'm gonna go with black and white at the bottom. So go to my gradient here and just make sure that it's a normal gradient, which it is. And then all I need to do is just click and drag across to bring in 
the layer behind and it's that simple. We are done. So what I want to do now is just some basic edits and crop it down back into Lightroom, change some of the contrast and the saturation. Also, I think I want to get rid of the graffiti on this garbage can here in the background. So to do that, we can go to our uh, healing tool, go to the spot healing brush tool and just kind of paint over that to get rid of that graffiti. And this might take a little bit more time, but you kind of get the idea. And I can actually color that in with my paintbrush as well. So if I want to uh, go ahead and pick the dark blue color there, okay. And I just want to kind of paint that in to get rid of the graffiti. Probably could do a better job with a bit more time here, but I think you'll see it in the uh, the final photo. So there you have it. That is a very simple way of blending two photos together using your new layer mask and a gradient filter. The reason that I chose this method is because I just wanted to blend in those two subjects from either the right or the left side of the photo to complete that image of sort of the ghosts in the cemetery. Now there are many different ways to blend photos together in Photoshop. This is just a very simple method that I wanted to use in this case. But if you have any other ideas of how other people can blend photos in Photoshop, throw them down in the comments below because we can always learn from one another and the best way to learn about photo editing and photography is through other photographers. So I am by no means a Photoshop expert, but this is a really quick and easy way to uh, blend two images together. So let's jump back into the cemetery and I will show you our final result from today's daily vlog. And that's what this is all about. So uh, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you've been enjoying the vlog series thus far. We're over halfway through the first week, which is awesome for me, but I have been really enjoying it and I hope you have too. So that's it. That's, uh, that's the end of this one. I'll see you tomorrow.